Hello, this is Stuart Fensterheim, and here's another edition of Three Minutes with Stuart. This week we're talking about childhood attachments and how they impact the relationships in our life. The first thing we need to do though, before we can do that, is to define what we mean by attachments. I work as a couples counselor here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I use a model called emotionally focused therapy, which helps couples truly feel close to one another and secure and important to each other. This is based on a principle called attachment theory. The name of the model is not as important as understanding that all of us need, not want, need someone in our life that has us feeling secure, important, and we know that our partners truly have our back. When this is not in place, we go into this primal panic and we'll do just about anything to validate that we're not alone in this world. Sometimes we look at them as a demon in our life and someone to run away from. What's important to understand here is that most conflicts that couples have is really about trying to determine whether we are alone and hoping beyond hope that we're not. We need connection like our bodies need food and water to survive. People talk about a deep desire to have a close relationship, that it, they really want one, but the real statement needs to be, we need one, and that we're dying here alone, alienated, and feeling like we're suffocating. How can you just stand there and do nothing when you see the pain I'm in? If we don't understand these signals, our partners, then our partners truly believe that we don't care and that we need to run away. It's really a fight or flight syndrome. If the signals were clear, partners typically show up and understand this. What we need to understand is our childhood attachments impact this. What we're all looking for is that secure relationship that typically looks like a child with secure parents who meet our needs. If we're cold, they make us warm. If they're scared, they reassure us. If we're sick, they take us to the doctor. Kids brought up in this kind of environment typically have happy relationships. They are happy when their parent leaves and comes back. They feel confident in relationships. And when something is not going right, they know that if they ask for help from their partners, they believe their partners will show up and attend to that. And the issue will be able to be resolved between the two of you. If you happen to be a child, though, that comes from a background where a caretaker tends to avoid issues, if we're sick, they don't respond to it. If we're cold, they don't do anything. It's like the three monkeys, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. If you close your eyes and hope everything will go away, and typically what happens when their parent leaves, they don't want them coming back. They're often distracted by the environment. As adults in relationship, they prefer life alone and generally don't open up emotionally to their partners. The last category is the ambivalent parent, in which our caretakers, that they don't take the kids to the doctor because the feeling is if they go there, the doctor will tell them that their child has some awful disease and will likely die. These parents are incredibly anxious and the kids grow up feeling the world is an unsafe place. And when their mother leaves, they fear their environment. Relationships typically are obsessive and they need to stay obsessive with their partners to try to keep them close because the fear is if they go away, they won't have anyone in this world. So all of us fall into these three categories. If you come from one that's less secure, that doesn't mean you're stuck there. That doesn't mean that the relationships will not work. What it means is we need to talk about how we were raised, the meaning it has to us, and why we need to feel secure. What is exciting, and something that all of you could be excited about, is we now know how to establish 
close, secure relationships where you all have your, each other's back. Where the, the feeling is that you are with that one person in this world, that together you can accomplish anything. And that if you need something, your relationship will solve that problem and be anything that has happened in your past that has you feeling stuck. We know how to help you get there. If talking about this clearly is a difficult task for you, if you struggle with understanding how this change can happen, please give us a call here at the Couples Expert. We offer a free, no obligation, 30-minute telephone consultation that can help you how attachment theory or emotionally focused th therapy can help you and your partners truly feel loved, where both of you understand and know that you're in this world together for the rest of your lives. Take care and stay connected. Bye-bye.